Hi there, I'm Jim Thunder from Reconciliation Thunder, and we're continuing on with our History for Reconciliation series. Today, I want to stop at 1497, when John Cabot first landed on Turtle Island. So, quick summary of this event is that John Cabot, an Italian explorer, sailed across the Atlantic Ocean with a crew of about 18 men in a ship called the Matthew. So they were looking for a way to have a more direct trade route with Asia. Instead, they landed on the east coast of Turtle Island. One of the benefits that they took back was this discovery that the east coast was teeming with cod at the time. But they also discovered that the Innu, the Mi'kmaq, and the Beotuk had inhabited this area. However, despite this knowledge, they continued to claim this land for England. So, what is the significance of this event for the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's 94 Calls to Action? Well, first of all, uh, this story, uh, the events that I've just described have been retold generation after generation, and uh, they form this meta-narrative of the early explorers coming and conquering this vast, empty, unforgiven land. And in doing so, they have you know, laid this groundwork for their families and their descendants to follow, uh, to live in this great and glorious land, you know, and so on. So, the problem with this meta-narrative is that it eliminates the awareness of the indigenous nations, societies, and laws that pre-existed on these lands since time immemorial. And so that's a challenge. If you look at the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's calls to action, there are numerous instances where the uh, concept of indigenous law is presented. So you'll see a, a, number, a number of these references. So as a Canadian, let me ask you a few questions. First of all, when you hear of this story, think back to all the times that this has been described to you. How often has this refer, been referred to as John Cabot discovering Canada? How often do you hear any reference to the Innu or the Beotuk or the Mi'kmaq? And instead, hear that of John Cabot uh, discovering indigenous peoples, or even worse, as inhabitants. So this, uh, this idea of the story has erased this idea of you know, all, us as indigenous peoples from the whole story. Another question I'll ask you, what, if, what do you know as a Canadian about Indigenous law? What do you know as a Canadian about the way that Indigenous peoples governed ourselves? That the way our legal institutions worked and operated? How did our societies work to keep social cohesion? And uh, all these different questions. So, the Truth and Reconciliation Commission is uh, referring to the need for us to have this awareness of Indigenous law, of Indigenous concepts of how our societies have operated, and, and the importance of history generally. So it's a good uh, point to start our History for Reconciliation video series. So with that, I want to encourage you con to continue to learn more about Indigenous law, Indigenous societies, and Indigenous history. So until next time, I'm Jim Thunder from Reconciliation Thunder.